Hi guys, welcome to my Wix tutorial on how to manipulate the mobile view on the Wix platform and make sure your website looks incredible over every mobile device. Today we are looking at the mobile view. It is super important that you consider the mobile view when doing a Wix website because let's face it, most of us check on our phones, iPads, etc., mobile devices rather than sitting at a desktop. So most of our browsing these days is on the go. So we'll log into our Wix website, wix.com. If you haven't seen the first tutorial, go over to tutorial number one and how to set up your website. We have gone to wix.com. It remembers us from last time and we go to site actions, edit site. Every time you go in, that's what you will do. You will edit site. It opens up the editor and off you go. So this is what we created yesterday. It doesn't look half bad. What is important to note is up here that we are on the desktop version. Right next to it is a switch to mobile view. So if we click on switch to mobile, you see then it starts looking a little bit different. Wix gives you a lovely meet your site on mobile. You can go through that if you wish. I will skip for today as we are going through the motions. So the first thing you'll notice is that it looks a little different than before. The menu has skipped down to here. The header includes the photo, but the menu is skipped down to the bottom. So imagine this on your mobile device now, and you can see that the top portion will take up most of your mobile device. We'll probably only get down to this mark here, which isn't a great first impression when you go on the site. A menu button ideally needs to be at the top and easily available whenever somebody needs it. So what we can do is move our menu straight up to the top. Now, when you are in this mode, you do not need to worry about your desktop mode. You are not altering anything on your desktop mode. If we switch back now to desktop, you'll see that my menu hasn't moved. So going to the mobile site and again, changing anything will not alter your desktop site. So feel free to make the changes that you need. We can make this smaller so it doesn't take up as much space, real estate on your mobile device and move our text further up. Another thing we'll note is that this text looks rather large and rather untidy. We can change it down to a doable size. As you see now, that's easier to spot on a mobile device. It's not as all over the place. It doesn't look like you've created this yourself. And then we move down, we have our details on me. Remember, we put two photos on and then we have our subscription button here at the bottom. If there is anything you don't like, for example, the photo here, if you decide you don't want it on your mobile view, that it's superfluous to your mobile needs, then you can hide the element and the element goes into here, this eyeball and our hidden elements. You can easily put it back on again by show element and there it goes again, or hide and it goes back there. So if you come to your mobile view and you think, oh my God, there's loads missing. All you need to do is click on the eye here and add the parts that you want. Wix sometimes automatically removes what they believe is superfluous to your mobile view. So again, if you click on the eye, you haven't lost any information. Nothing's gone awry. It is all there in your hidden elements. You can enter your mobile tools 
and this gives you the option to add a welcome screen, for example, back to top button if you add that. Here at the bottom, specifically for mobile, every time you scroll up or down or anybody visiting your site scrolls up or down, they can click on this and get directly back up to the top and you can customize it to any shape you like. Even saying top, that's better. So there are a few items on the mobile side of life that makes it look more like a mobile website. And let's face it today, it has to look like a mobile website. You don't want this looking half, <laughs> half baked. The background we can change as we could on the other. You see there, as you go back to desktop, you see it hasn't changed the desktop again. Don't be worried about that. We'll put the background back because that is way too busy for my liking. Let's get some white back on there. And then our get subscribers again. If you didn't want that on, you could just hide your element. So we've gone through the tools. Quick action bar is similar to our backup button, you can have the setup quick access so they can email you, phone, call you, check out your social links. For example, we have our social links at the top, so we don't actually need that. We have a nice, there's, a, there's your footer, I see the nice small footer there. And the page layout optimizer, you can optimize now if you wish. I'll show you as we go through. And all it has done is made it, it's actually turned it back to what it was before. It's made the text larger. Let's go back, undo as it's much neater that way. And we can publish. And again, it doesn't change anything on your, on your desktop site. You can then check it on your mobile device and see how it looks. What's important is that you check all your pages. So then you would go to contact. Does contact look all right? Contact looks okay. Our footer is a little bit long there for some reason. Sorry, I'm using the wrong. There we go. We don't need our footer looking quite so long. Put our top button. Our top button stays where it is so that you can always access it on the screen. And we publish there. I publish on every step or save on every step just to make sure that I've done it. Videos. Let's see our video page. That looks kind of awesome. We can move this down to the bottom if we want to. All you do is drag and drop your items, we can move these up then and drag our subscription down to the bottom. So the videos are the first thing that comes. You can check your hidden elements, nothing's hidden. And publish again, because I like to make sure it's all up there. And the blog, let's have a look at the blog. Remember the blog will be completed on the next video if you want a tutorial on how to create a blog with Wix that is on the next tutorial. And that looks all nice, neat and clean. You have your blog short bar up here, shortcuts. And obviously on every page, you will see that the header has remained the same with the box that I moved in the first place. I'll put it a little bit to the right. And your social bar and everything remains the same. So now we go back to our desktop site and it's all there. It looks exactly the same as how we left it. I'm going to open our menu up here so we can see all our pages. And back to home. So that was it. That is how to check your mobile version. Make sure it is ready, equipped for a mobile device. Make sure it's looking its sharpest, if you like. And you can change 
most of the things that are on your mobile layout. The best thing to do is always work on the desktop first, which was in tutorial one, and then move into the mobile and make sure that the mobile is all hunky dory before you share it with your subscribers, your customer base, whatever you're using the website for. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join me on the next tutorial, which will be how to create a beautiful blog with the Wix website and send out your blogs as notifications to all your wonderful subscribers who you have captured using the tutorial number one.